Oh my god. I did not have the mic on this entire time. It's midnight right now, guys. I apologize. This could not have went any worse. Pretty much, I'm gonna fill you guys in. I'm doing a setup video. I have an 8.25 zero deck with froggy grip tape. I have the little mob cut out and I was gonna put a sticker under and I spent a couple minutes looking for a sticker and I didn't end up using it because none of them looked good. So I ended up just putting the grip on with no sticker under, just the green top layer. And this setup video, I talked about it in the beginning, but obviously my mic was off. I'm not gonna do it like my normal setup video where I go over everything in the beginning and then I just start setting it up in like a artsy way. I'm gonna answer questions, which I've been doing and talking to you guys. And now I find out my mic was off, but th that sucks. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video though. What else I said was pretty much, if you didn't see my last video, it was a ping pong trick shot video, but it was also a vlog just because the title was me doing ping pong trick shots. That's not what the whole video was. I went and I bought this board and these shoes. And basically I'm filming this video right now at midnight because tomorrow I have to do schoolwork. I have to edit the video that you guys saw before this that I was just talking about. And I want to have as much time to skate as possible for this video, the set of video. And I'm also doing a QA. and a I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions. And I got a few because, like I said, it's midnight. And obviously, I wasn't expecting it a lot at this time of the night. But I already answered one. And it was, what are my plans for the future? And I said that I want to travel a lot. And that I'm going to San Francisco later this month. And that's, like, a big, not milestone for me. But I'm really excited for it because, I don't know, it's the first time I'm going that far outside of Fillmore where I live. And I think I'm going March 20th or March 21st with a big group of skaters. It's like a three or four day trip. We're taking a van out there, all my friends, the Celeste team and a few other people. I'll definitely be vlogging and making videos when we go out there as much as I can. Cause it's like I said, a three or four day trip. But it's honestly gonna be a really sick trip if it does go as planned. And one thing that I forgot to point out I still ride for Outsider. He's out of stock with boards right now, so he sent me some money to get a deck. Really, really nice of him, but I don't know. A couple of people asked me if I still ride for out, if I still ride it. I just said ride it. If I still rode for Outsider skateboards, and yes, I 100% still ride for Outsider skateboards. I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of the weird people that sands down their nose because I hate grip thumb. I know, I think Aaron Cairo does this. I'm not 100% sure. But I think Josh Katz does it, or Sam Tabor, one of them, but I do it as well. Lil underscore Quinn with three N's asks me, do you want to go pro before 18? Any question about going pro? Yes. Who would not want to go pro? That's every little kid skater's dream. And before 18? Yes, I would want to go pro as soon as possible, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that would be an upside or a downside to going pro. Pretty sure that would be a good thing. So now I guess this is the point where I put the bearings inside the wheels and the wheels that I'm skating. These are some 52 millimeter blank white wheels that I ordered off of Amazon. And I love opening them like, I love opening them that much that I did it in my sleep. This is gonna sound really stupid, but my alarm was going off one morning and I remember reaching over to my wheels and opening them. That's like the stupidest thing. But I remember playing with a wheel the next morning and I didn't want to open them until the setup video. And I don't know, it was just really random because it kind of felt like it was in my dream. I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about, hopefully. But yeah, sadly they're already open, but trust me, they're brand new. Have not used them, I ordered them off Amazon. They were like nine bucks, which I'm gonna start getting them off there because I do not like paying $35 for wheels. And the bearings that I'm skating are Spitfire Cheap Shots. I've only had one pair of these, but I did like them just as much as I like any other bearings because they're all the same to me. But these are the cheapest, 10 bucks, just as good as Reds, Bones, Swiss, Ceramic, Plus, Pro So yeah, that's why I'm riding these. And the trucks that I'm skating are 147 Silver and Black Mark Johnson Thunder Lights, but they're not hollows, they're just lights. I don't even know the difference between like hollows and lights, I think hollows, this is hollow, but this is hollow in these. So I guess that's why they're lights. I don't know. Back in my day, trucks were trucks. So this is actually how you put bearings inside wheels. In case you didn't know and you were wondering, you put the bearing on the truck, then you put your wheel, and then hopefully you're strong enough to just push it down. Sometimes, I swear, when I would get new Spitfires, yeah, Spitfires, I was gonna say bones, but it was with Spitfires, I remember. I would put it in, and I would be stepping on my board, like on top, like pushing down with all my strength and I could not get it in. And then finally it would pop in. It was the hardest thing to do. I guess that's a good thing because then your wheel isn't gonna fly off, but I don't know. I don't like to go through that much struggle. Just put bearings inside a wheel. I was just talking about how easy these wheels were to put bearings in and now I'm on the last wheel and the last bearing will not go in. I don't know why. Like it's in there, but 
it's not fully in. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see, but it's still sticking out a little and it's supposed to go in all the way. I'm just going to take it out and flip it around. Hopefully that'll work. All right. I got a better idea. Hopefully this tool, some, I was going to say silver tool reflex tool. It has a bearing bearing press on it. Pretty sure it's still not going to go in all the way, but it doesn't hurt to try. It actually worked. It went on all the way. Um, so all I had to do was use an actual bearing press. But if you don't have one of these, then use your truck. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys all know this. So I got all the bearings in the wheels and I'm gonna go ahead and answer another question. Anthony.skates underscore asks, when you get your license, will you be driving out to more skate parks? And when I get my license, I'm gonna be driving to different countries. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's a bit of an exaggeration. But yeah, when I get my license, hopefully I do get my license sometime soon before I'm 30, then yeah, I'll definitely be going to different skate parks. And these, I might as well go over them now. I'm riding shorties, one inch Phillips hardware. That's the last thing that I think I need to go over. Another question here from Luis underscore Cancino2. Do you hope to make money from YouTube in the future? Um, first of all, you're basically asking, would you want to make money off of something you love doing? Like, that's an obvious yes. I don't know who would say no to that. Um, or at least any youtuber that would say no to that, but I actually already make money from YouTube not a whole lot Like I'm not balling in hundreds every month I'm not getting any like weekly or monthly paycheck. I actually haven't gotten my first paycheck from YouTube yet I think that's happening this month. Maybe next month. I'm not sure yet, but to answer your question Yes, Luis, I would want to make money off of YouTube. I don't know why the wheel keeps getting stuck. Look You see how it doesn't just slide on there really easy like it's supposed to and then Maybe that's why I got these free at that event I went to for Thunder. Maybe there's something wrong with them and they can't sell them. They do look like they've been in the back of a warehouse for a while. That's what my friend Cavallo said and I completely agree. But I think I loosened it up. All right, we're good to go. I'm seriously the worst multitasker. I can't be doing this while talking to you guys and answering the questions. So I'm probably gonna keep pausing to answer the questions and then continue like I've been doing. All right, I'm gonna answer like three more questions. Um, juice underscore the underscore skate god asks, would you rather play Luan Oliveira or Shane O'Neill? I think you mean um, play them skate and I'd be both of them. That was sarcasm by the way, don't take it serious. I would lose really badly to both of them in skate, but maybe Shane O'Neill. Active.Anthony asks, what happened to Handicap? If you guys don't know, Handicap was like mine, Trevor, Ethan, and Jake. I think Jake. Yeah, it was our little company. You guys probably don't know any of them unless you're real OGs, but that was like our little company. And straight up the reason was we weren't selling enough and everyone wanted free product, which is like the thing you have to deal with when you own a company. It wasn't even really a serious company, but um, yeah, that's why we stopped because we weren't making enough money, which is like the point of a company to make money and keep making more product. And everyone was just like, oh, could I get some free wax? Could you hook us up? And like, obviously it was just, the wax was like a dollar or $2 and the sticker packs weren't even that much. So we just kind of sold everything or gave it away and then we just stopped making everything else. All right, one truck is fully on and I need to put one more truck on. I'm gonna answer probably like two more questions. Junior dot underscore 140 asks, who would you rather meet, Chris Jocelyn or Jaws? If you guys don't know, I say this almost every Q and A, Chris Jocelyn is my favorite skater. So him for the answer of that question. But I didn't tell you guys this, but Chris Jocelyn followed me. I was gonna make like a whole video about it. Not actually make a whole video about it, but I was gonna talk about it in one of my videos, but I forgot. I was, all right, I'm gonna tell you guys a story real quick. All right guys, so the board is down there. I have everything on put together except this one hardware. This is brand new hardware and it's like stripped. Like the bottom's messed up and the nut won't go on. So I'm gonna try to file it down with some grip and hopefully that ends up working. All right guys, we're back and quick little update. I stickered the board, as you can probably tell. Hopefully it looks a little better. Maybe you guys didn't want me to cover the graphic, but I did and for the hardware, I actually have to use one Allen hardware. Fun fact, I used to only skate Allen hardware because I don't know, I thought it was cool and that was the trend back then. No, it wasn't, but I don't know. Uh, I used to just prefer Allen hardware. So thankfully I had new hardware because I used to get extra like within the little packages. It used to come with extra. So I had a couple of those. But yeah, that other shorty screw, it was not cooperating. It was, I don't know, it was pretty much stripped. So I think I'm gonna have to sue shorties. No, I'm just kidding guys, but this is my complete setup as you guys have seen for the entire video I'm gonna get a close-up tomorrow at the skate park before I actually skate it right now I'm probably gonna regret this, but I'm gonna try kickflip test right here on my carpet last time I said that and I ended up getting like a whole session on my carpet, but I swear this time It's just a kickflip. All right. I'm sorry for talking so much, but new shoes always suck with a new board I love I said this in my last video. I love looking down seeing everything new 
but it's one of the worst feelings when you have to break it in. So let's see how this goes. Okay, I knew, oh my gosh. That's, I think that's the first time I've not landed a kickflip test either ever or in a long time. But I'm gonna blame it on the carpet and I'm gonna land it. One twenty-seven. my battery's blinking. 1.30 in the morning, so last try at the tray flip. All right, I'm done with the tricks. Um, I'm gonna skate this board tomorrow. Hopefully the beginning of this, when I was doing the Q&A and setting up the board, wasn't like 10 minutes. But either way, I'm probably not gonna get that much footage tomorrow. I'm sorry, it's just the way it goes. Yeah, thank you guys for asking your questions on Instagram for like the 13 people that did ask. And see you guys tomorrow, probably in Piru. Skate the park, maybe some street. Don't count on it, but I'll see you guys then. As you guys could probably tell, I have already warmed up and skated a little because the trucks were not turning good. So now I'm gonna get some clips. Gosh, all right. I am horrible with turning on the mic. Pretty much, I put the letters back in from the mob because I had the top ply showing and I didn't like how the green looked. I don't know why, even though it's Rasta and the green kind of matched, but I put the letters back in and they weren't from this sheet of grip. They're from a blank black sheet of grip, so they don't have the stencil and you kind of still see the mob. I'm talking really fast because I've said this like four times already. Hope you guys enjoyed the clips. I'm gonna try to get some clips that you haven't seen me do before, like some tricks, like fakey tricks down the quarter and just tricks I don't do that much or maybe learn some tricks. All right guys, I am ending the set of video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too short. Hopefully it wasn't too long. But thank you guys for watching. Stay until the end. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe videos every other day. I'll see you guys in two days for a new video.